Hello and welcome to Shorts. I'm going to demonstrate a program that prints and returns the second of numbers from 0 to 20. Please note that this does not generate true second of numbers. The way we're going to do this is first I'm going to make a method that returns a Fibonacci array. Then I'm going to make another method which returns a random binary array. Then I'm going to make a third method which keeps calling these two methods and multiplying their components until the sum of the multiply components are the numbers that we would like to represent in second of numbers, namely from 1 to 20. If this criteria is met, then we're going to turn these binary numbers into a decimal number and then store it in an array and later return it. Let's get started by making a uh, new class called Zeckendorf and making your uh, main method. Then we're going to make a new method called public static and this is going to return an integer of a array integer and we're going to call this method fib array maker and this is going to make our Fibonacci array. This is going to take an integer of array length. Then I'm going to make the array that we're going to start making the Fibonacci array with. We're going to make fib array fake. And I'm going to explain why we're going to be calling this a fake for now. So we're going to initialize this and set its length equals to array length. I'm going to change this to capital L. Then I'm going to set the first component of this array equals to 1 and the second component equals to 2. Then I'm going to make a for loop and we're going to start this from the third component or the second component and we're going to keep on doing this for the length of the fib array fake. Increment i. Inside the for loop, this is going to create, this is going to finish making our Fibonacci array. To, to understand how uh, how the logic of this works, please look at uh, shorts number one, where I explain what I am doing here. This method is going to finish filling our uh, Fibonacci array, the Fibonacci array, uh, numbers. However, we want this backward. So to do that, we're going to create a new array called Fibray, and this is going to be also of array length. Now, please know that if we pass an array length of say length one to this uh, method, then we're going to create a method a uh, array here which is of length two positions, or one position, sorry. However, when we try to fill it with, th with this line of code, then we're going to get an error because uh, our array is only of length one. So to uh, solve this problem, we're going to create add plus one to this, or plus two, let's say plus one. 
and then we're going to be able to uh, to run this program without errors. Getting back here, we're going to make a new for loop. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And inside this for loop, I'm going to set this back to zero. And I'm going to set this to February. And inside the February, the, in this for loop, I'm going to uh, invert the uh, the array, our fib fake array, so that we will get the Fibonacci array backwards. And I'll explain why we need that later. Here I'm going to initialize a, and this a is going to be equals to array length, and inside the for loop, I'm going to take our fib array, i, this is the one we're going to want to fill backwards, and we're going to set this equals the fib array fake a minus 1. And then I'm going to remove 1 from a, we're incrementing it downward, and so what this loop is going to do is it's going to take our new for our new array and going to increment it by one. It's going to uh, uh, rotate through the Fibonacci array and it's going to uh, uh, rotate down. So it's it's incrementing this and it's de-incrementing this, and uh, that way we're going to fill our Fib array with the second uh, sorry with the Fibonacci numbers backwards. And now we're done with this, so we can say return fib array. And this is returning our Fibonacci array. So to see if this works, we're going to go into our main. And we're going to make a new int. called February. This is going to be a new uh, integer array. And we're going to set the sequels to fib array maker. Then we're going to need to pass the length. So we're going to initialize a length. Int array length is equals to, let's say, 8. Then we're going to make a for loop. I'm just going to take it from here. We're going to set the length equals to array length. And here we're going to print out fib array. So we're setting a new integer array equals to the returned value or the returned array of our February maker and we are going to then uh, print it and let's see if this works oops we forgot to there we go all right and there you go you can see we have printed these Fibonacci uh, numbers backwards, just the way we wanted to. Alright, so we see that that works, so we can go ahead and do our next method, which is going to generate random uh, binary numbers. This is also going to return an uh, integer array. We're going to call this bin array maker. And this is also going to take the array length integer. And what I'm going to do with this is uh, make a new integer array called bin array.
of lengths array length. Then I'm going to set the first integer, the first position of the bin array equals to one. Because there's really no reason in starting a, a, a decimal number with zero. So I just set it to one and then we're not going to be getting these weird numbers, these weird uh, decimal numbers later on that are going to be just starting with zero. It, uh, it just makes no sense. All right, now we're going to create a for loop to fill the rest of this uh, uh, array with, uh, with random binary numbers. And uh, so we're going to make a new random number. I'm going to have to import the random class and then I'm going to set bin array i equals to rand dot next int and I'm going to pass it a value of 10 no, sorry, I'm going to pass the value of 2. So this way, this bin array i is going to be iterated over for the length of the array, and it's going to be given random numbers from, uh, or, or, or zeros or ones. Now, I have set the first position to zero, so actually we can, we are starting i from position 1 because they have already set the first number equals to 0. Now we are done so we can return this bin array which we have created and to see if it works correctly I think I destroyed, there we go. Now I'm going to make the same bit of code for our next array, except I'm going to cha change this to bin array. We're going to initialize a new int array called bin array. And we're going to call the bin array maker method we're going to pass it the array length. Then we are going to uh, iterate through this array and we're going to print the bin array uh, arrays components. All right, now between these two, I'm going to make a blank line. So I'm just going to say print a new line. And I'm going to run this. All right, and there you have it. We have created a uh, a uh, array of the Fibonacci numbers, and we're go we're going to be printing these backwards. And we have also created a, a array of randomly generated. Uh, binary numbers. Now to make it uh, more aesthetically pleasing, I'm just going to remove the new line and concatenate a comma here. And I'm going to add the same bit of code for this other array. And let's see how it's going to look. All right. And so we're done. Uh, I'm going to continue this on second video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.